I told him what we were just going to do, and he's like, oh, beep, beep. Because it's going to be good. This is not safe. This is not safe. Oh, oh I got him. I got him. Yes. Oh, man. 1,000 inches a minute, and that's only a 50,000th cut because we're about to go much higher. Axio is 2 inches, 50,000th, and then we'll actually post the MRR right there. And now we're gonna actually take another cut and we're gonna go up to three times that, so 150 thousandths, but we're gonna back off on the inches per minute. We're gonna cut our feed rate in half, but we're gonna make our step over three times what we just Boom. did. Boom, which will produce a greater MRR. And through this entire experience, not only are you gonna see some crazy amazing cuts, but you're gonna get some knowledge right here. And we're gonna show you how to play to your machine's strength and the importance of MRR. So we're gonna give you a real representation of the cut. So we're gonna turn the cooling on to make this next pass. Make chips like a man, Jesse. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Didn't bog down at all. Times two inches, 150 MRR. All right. You see how, how much they listen to me, Sam? Nobody trusts me. Crash one gigantic drill into a part, and next thing you know, they don't trust you to make straight lines. Ready to rumble! Oh. Hmm. All right, so in that cut, we were 150 thousandths in radially. Axial is still two inches, but we dropped from 1,000 inches a minute to 500 inches per minute. There's a lot of machines out there that can't actually go 1,000 inches a minute. In a past video, we were at 2,000 inches a minute, 2,300 inches a minute. Yeah, champ. Oh, look at that. So smooth. But not everybody has a machine like that. We want to actually keep going and taking a bigger radial cut so our MRR actually increases even though we're going slower to show you that this Core 5 end mill will thrive on all machines. So we just want to actually keep ramping up and take bigger cuts and bigger cuts. This tool will outperform your machine no matter what the machine is. So let's play to your machine strengths. Look at the horsepower, look at the torque, and actually get that MRR up. MRR is what matters. That was a nice, healthy cut. Yeah, yeah. Super good, man. Getting smoky in there. Super really. good. So MRR of 200, that's moving. Now let's take it up another notch to a quarter inch radial cut with this bad boy. 33% step over. This cut brings us to an MRR of 250 cubic inches per minute. Half the feed rate, two and a half times the MRR of the first cut we did, so. A lot of times we threw out these fantastic numbers and, and we're truly here to show you what's possible. But when it comes to your own machine, looking at the torque, looking at the power, looking at the machine, the RPMs, let's play to the strengths. And in this video, instead of just going 2,000 inches a minute, we're actually taking bigger cuts to show you what's possible with this three-quarter inch tool, the Core 5. That's why they call it the king of roughing. And not only that, but the Core 5, you can get the best prices on the planet. Titans of CNC Tooling.com. And not only do you increase your productivity, but you help us fund free education. And you sales. get the best prices on the internet. Unless you don't like to save, then you can shop somewhere else. Yeah, didn't That's bog awesome. at all. I love it. MRR, 250 cubic inches per minute, and we're going up. Yes. You know, if you drop a little bit, you, you probably get a little bit more torque. Yeah, you get a little, a little bit more, bit more uh, power and stuff. So at this time, when you have your own machine and you're listening to that cut and you're looking at the pressure, you can actually make a choice and you can either do what we're gonna do and just make a bigger cut because we feel confident about it. Or you can actually drop your RPMs a little bit to get a little bit more power. And then you can actually take a greater cut because at the end of the day, it's just a calculation for your MRR that actually matters. And that's something you don't really think about. Like a lot of people that are running these four flutes or two flute tools, like you look at something like this five flute and may think, oh, that's just for dynamic milling. But it's really not. I mean, even at this five flute, tool you still got a really deep gullet 
and a really deep flute so you can get those chips evacuated with still running up to like a 50% step over. The one of the cool things about the flutes on here that a lot of people don't know is Canameto actually designed these things. They're elongated. They actually have a flat over here so they're extra long and in doing that they're a little bit more narrow as they go around the tool but they're longer it takes that cut you got the chip splitters that break it up into small little pieces so the coolant just takes it out it's a crazy tool all right we're going up so you were at 650 so you have to go to 950 that's just a calculation on the machine that you got to change this is a three quarter inch tool at 500 inches per minute and we're going 300 thousandths radial that's getting close to half the diameter that's a heavy cut right there and then the mrr a lot 300 cubic inches per minute with a three quarter inch tool that's insane boom <laughs> What the crap? Oh, <laughs> that was an aftershock oh, in your Oh, I finger. got him, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> he actually stopped the machine too. <laughs> so good. Let's go. <laughs> MRR at 300 cubic inches per minute, 500 inches a minute. That is absolutely insane. I would have probably never tried this. Oh man. We're not even telling everyone to run this fast or this hard or this deep. We're just showing you what's possible so you can look at your own machine. You can play to its strengths. If it has a, a low RPMs, high RPMs, look at the horsepower, look at the torque, look at your sweet spot. Go to a place that you feel confident and if you feel like you're not getting the speed, maybe you need to take bigger cuts radially. No matter what it is that you do, get your MRR to the highest level because when you're roughing all the material, the only thing that matters is MRR. Nothing else matters. How much material can you remove as fast as possible before you come back and kiss the baby into spec? Check this out. What most people like don't understand about the Hellers is the horsepower. The horsepower is crazy crazy so when you actually come over here you'll see this thing ramp up right you see it ramp up here and then it just stays all the way across usually somebody will say oh it's got this crazy horsepower and it'll just like dive 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 or it'll have some kind of weird thing going on this one is basically right early it's just like bang and it's just steady all the way across and then it can even go more than that it gets crazy and then on this machine, you can get different spindles on it. This one is built more for the high end, more for the speed, the aluminum, the steels, all that. Then you can actually put a lower RPM spindle, more power, more torque, all that in here. But what we did was we put that spindle in the CP6000. So the CP6000 is geared for just crazy aerospace, hard materials, Inconel, Monel, titanium, all of that. This one can still run it but different tool strategies because we have a higher RPM spindle of 13,000 and then the way that our power goes all the way out. Every machine is different. Remember that when you're specking your machine out, think about the parts that you're gonna be making and spec your machine for those parts. Right here, we're actually running at 8,000 RPMs, but we wouldn't do that on the CP. The CP 6,000 with the spindle in there, we would actually probably be more like at around 4,000 or 5,000, we'd be backed up and then so we could just get the most torque, the most power out of that spindle. And they always say the power curve, there's no power curve. That thing was just bah, straight lining right across. <laughs> Wait, did you get him? Did you tell him? I told him what we were just going to do. And he's like, oh, beep, beep. Because it's going to be good. This is not safe. This is not safe. We're just going about it a little bit different. So we cut our RPMs in half to grab more torque. Right, The power is pretty much the same, but we got the torque right there. And we're gonna slow down to 100 inches a minute, but now we're taking a half inch radial. So that's like 66% of the tool engaged radially all the way down at two inches. Yep. That's a crazy cut. So we're gonna take this cut, and we're gonna listen to it, and then from there, we're gonna make a decision. That's a big radial for a five flute tool. This tool, like nobody would think that it can make this type of radio. Oh, 
All right, so right there we took a big radial with low RPMs at 4,000 and it sounded perfect. Beautiful. Let's actually do that again. Full slot. Now, now we're just changing it, right? You're taking a huge step over. You got 4,000 RPMs, but now we're gonna double our feed and we're gonna actually make it happen. You're just from a different direction. You're taking your MRR up. So depending on what type of machine you have, you just take a different approach. We're showing you something different, but the MRR is going up. He's like, oh my Lord, what is going on? Oh, boom! <laughs> That's the kind of boom oh, you don't want. Oh man. Every time I run one of Barry's programs, so we broke an end mill on this cut. And on this machine, those RPMs are simply too low. So earlier, we actually found our sweet spot. On this particular HF5500 from Heller, we actually went 300 thousandths radial, two inches down at 500 inches a minute, giving us an MRR of 300 cubic inches per minute. And that was a beastly cut. Now, you guys out there, Depending on your machine, your torque, your power, look at everything and run the tool to your sweet spot, to your strength. So if you got a lower RPM spindle and lower power, then lower it, but take bigger cuts. If you got a high end power, you got big RPMs, then use up those RPMs. But at the end of the day, it's MR that actually matters yep. in roughing. Boom, how's it feel being on the Heller, man? Yeah, dude, it's like uh, a spaceship. It's like a spaceship. <laughs> he's, he's been running the five axis you ready for to go so back long to the and all the DN yeah. machines. We got him on the Siemens control over there. Yeah. It's fast. Dude, it's amazing. Super easy. Yeah. Super good. Thank you, brother. Yeah, buddy. As always. Awesome. Boom, Titans of CSA. Boom. But now you got to go back to the other side of the shop, man. Oh, man. Oh. One day. <laughs> oh, man. Well, all I needed is one day to come over here and show Barry how it's done. So oh, man. that's all I'm saying. One day. Oh, <laughs> X0 to X26. Good job, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs>